We made the reservation for 8.15. We're going to be late. Oh, that must be her now. Mr. Malakis? Majakis. But don't worry, everyone gets it wrong on the first time. Our babysitter's here. Hello, my name's Jill. You must be Chelsea and Tommy, right? I can already tell we're going to have so much fun together. They already have their baths. They'll just have to go to bed in about 30 minutes. Be good for Miss Jill, all right, darlings? Yes, Mommy. Don't worry. I think we'll have a wonderful evening together. Good. Now, come on, darling. We're going to be late. We should be home in a few hours. Our number's on the fridge if you need us. All right. Have a good night. All right, you two. Let's get you ready for bed. Good night, kids. Hello? Hey girl, what's up? I'm just babysitting, as usual. What about you? Bored. Hey, can I come over? No. I'm at their house. It's not like you can just come over. It's against the rules. So what? Who cares? It's not like they're gonna know or anything. Sorry, but not tonight, okay? Whatever. Such a party pooper. Have you talked to Bobby? No, I haven't. You know me. I can't bring up the nerve to talk to him. What am I going to do? I think you should just suck it up and get it over with. Wow, thanks for the advice. So am I coming over or not? No, Lindsay, I told you already. Oh, come on, just for a little bit. Hello, Jill? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Ah, oh, great, now you're losing it. Listen, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, bye. <laughs> Lindsay, I said no. Hello? Have you checked the children? <sighs> Lindsay. <sighs> Hello? Tommy, Chelsea, is that you? You're supposed to be in bed. Who is it? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> really, Jill, you're starting to lose it. Ah! <gasps> Someone's jumpy. <laughs> Jesus, Lindsay, what are you doing here? I told you not to come. What, I can't come visit my best friend? Not like you were having much fun anyways. I'm sorry, but you can't stay. If they knew that I had a friend over, well, who's going to tell them? They're out. Still, it's against the rules. You can't stay. Whatever. Did you hear that? What, it's just a house settling. What's the problem anyway? I don't know. I guess being all alone this late at night in a stranger's house really gives me the chills. I'll say. Well, I'll be out of your hair then since you want me out so bad. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Um, you must be the owner of the house. Um, I just came to visit Jill. I didn't stay very long at all. Please don't be mad at her. It was my fault. Um, I guess I'll be going now. Hey, what are you doing? I said I'm sorry, okay? Uh, please, no. Uh. Uh. Lindsay? Is everything alright? I heard some noises. Hmm. It must be my imagination. Hello? Have you checked the children? Tommy, Chelsea, what's wrong? There's someone in our room! Where? In the closet. I saw them in the closet. All right. Let me check if it'll make you feel better. Tommy, there's no one in here. It must have been a bad dream, okay? No, but I saw it, Jill. There was a strange man walking around our room, and he hid in the closet. Well, whatever you thought you saw, it's not there, so you must have been seeing things. Just go back to sleep, okay? Okay. Jill... Can you leave the light on? Sure. Good night, you two. Hello? Have you checked the children? Who is this? Your joke is so not funny. I'm going to call the police if you don't stop. <sighs> That's it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I would like to report an obscene phone call. There's this guy, and he keeps on calling me about every 10 to 15 minutes, and it's really creeping me out. Is he threatening you? No. Is he using obscene language? No. Well, unfortunately, there's not much we can do here. 
Please, there has to be something. I'm all alone here. Are you at home? I'm just a babysitter. Is the house and everything locked up? Yes? Then you should be fine. Okay. I'll call you back if anything else happens. Alright, have a good night. <sighs> Hello? Why haven't you checked the children? If you don't stop calling, I'm going to call the police. You hear me? 911, what's your emergency? It's me again. He called. Well, what did he say? The same thing as always. He's telling me to check the children. I'm really scared. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, we could try to contact the phone company and trace the calls, but you'd have to keep him on the line for at least one minute. Do you think you can do that? You can try. All right. Thanks for your cooperation, miss. We'll be hearing from you. gonna be here much longer, you know. Mr. and Mrs. Madrakis will be here any minute. I know. Can you see me? Yes. I'm sorry I turned the lights down. I can turn them back up if you like. <laughs> Don't. Look, you really scared me, if that's what you wanted. What do you want? Your blood all over me. <laughs> Leave me alone! Jill, this is the police department. Oh, hi. I, I apologize. Listen, you need to listen to us, okay? And please, try not to panic, alright? We traced the caller, and the call is coming from inside the house. You hear me? The call is coming from inside the house. You need to get out of there as soon as possible. <laughs> No, Tommy, Chelsea. No, no! This can't be happening to me. It can't be. <coughs> Please, stop. Please, I'll do anything. Now, Tommy. Oh my goodness, thank goodness you're okay. I thought something terrible happened to you. Thank you. Jill, are we going to be okay? Yes, Chelsea. We're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs>